The game attempts to foster a unique sense of organic gameplay and exploration, along with a powerful narrative and a huge cast of characters. One of the goals when designing the game was to create a seamless blend of action and discovery, where things can happen unexpectedly at any time. I'm Jane freezing. Our lights went out, so we're doing this outside. That husky's huge. Oh, oh. I know, sorry guys, you're expecting the uh, Halo beta review, part two of two, but we got a chance to get Red Dead Redemption early. So we're doing this for our Monday episode. Where's the map? I got map to prove it. And if you watched our live show, you know. Uh. Hold it here, hold it here. What we got? Right here, what do we got? Oh, My favorite is Gap Tooth Ridge. So, this is a sandbox, third person shooter, action, Western game. Sexual. Sexual. Western game. It's like Grand Theft Auto, but Western. So that's pretty cool. Made by Rockstar. It's it's completely Grand Theft Auto. They took Grand Theft Auto and okay. basically painted it with a Western brush. Yeah. I feel like they made it less smutty, which which I appreciate because I'm a woman. And you can't have sex in it. Mike, you're out of the show. You can't, you, can't, have sex in it. you can't have sex in it. I think to be dishonorable, you should be able to have sex with the hookers in the game. Mm. Just like you do every night on the weekend. Exactly. Every time I do that, my honor goes down. You played John Marston, and you used to be part of this really well-known gang of bad guys. <laughs> and uh, now you have to hunt down your old partner Buddy. in crime, Bill, and you need to kill him or else he's gonna, you know, hurt your family you're worried about. So basically you gotta hunt this baby down and take care of some business. So you got like the Mexican army, you got rebels, you got all sorts of people going on there. There's, there's innocent people, got, there's lawmen, looks there's- like pirates. <laughs> and this random thing's happening all over the world where you can save someone that being attacked by coyotes and your honor goes up. Yeah, and or you can bring like medicine to this woman or you could just shoot some guy that's walking by you. So there's a morality system and there's honor that you can collect. There's fame, which goes up the more stuff that you do, and then there's wanted, which is like the bounty on your head, and it goes up slowly the more horrible things you do. You can challenge someone to a duel, and if you win, your fame goes up. You get famous. Yeah, so let's... and your honor goes up if you help people. And so you need to decide like who you want to line yourself yeah. up with. Do you want to be with the outlaws? Do you want to be with the lawmen? Do you want to be a good guy or a bad guy? Yeah. We're not giving away any of the story in this uh, review, because this is a must-play game, and the story is so rich in detail, mm that you have to experience it for yourself. This map is unbelievably big. Yeah. Like it's so big that sometimes you have to hire a guy to drive you somewhere so that you don't have to take five years to get somewhere. It's or if you want, you can make the trek yourself. Think Fallout 3 times five. Literally, that's what it is. You know how big it's that huge. map is? Bigger, so it's way bigger than GTA 4. And there's 4. like huge obstacles, like there'll be a huge ridge of cliffs so you have to like walk all the way around and find these footpaths to get up mm. it and stuff. Now I must admit the learning curve to riding on the horse and shooting, I'd say it's about an hour because it is awkward at first, like, cause you're used to like the car in GTA. So you kind of like have to turn, then move forward, turn, then move forward. You can't go like this really. But after a while you get used to it and you get more abilities. Dead Eye is amazing. You push down the right thumbstick and everything slows down and it has like the sepia like, tone yeah, yeah, look. Yeah. And it's like slow motion. You really get to see the graphics in this. Like the animations are brilliant. The frame rate, it's amazing. We play on the 360. When you click into the dead eye and you go into that slow motion, we saw some of the best physics yeah. in a character in any game I've ever seen. And even the animals. Well, yeah, even the animals when you shoot. The muscles on the horses are like when they uh, get thrown in the it's air. It's ridiculous. You see the muscles ripple underneath the skin and the animals. Mm -hmm. It's the same physics engine that they used in Star Wars Force Unleashed, Euphoria. And like the AI is pretty good. I mean, the odd time you'll see someone like 
running into an imaginary wall or you'll see like a vulture flying through the ground but I mean it's nothing that's gonna ruin any gameplay right it's just yeah. you see it and you're like ha, and you continue on you can do storyline missions and keep going on that or you can just run around and do whatever the hell you want the landscape is beautiful the sky is amazing the lighting effects yeah and, and the, how it goes from like night to day oh yeah and, and it's so beautiful at night like the stars are all sparkly Mike unfortunately when we first started playing the game let a hooker be stabbed to death I didn't I was learning how to punch so some of the other random uh, events or activities include public hangings, ambushes, pleas for help, and animal attacks. And I'm sure there's a whole bunch of others as well. I, I ran over a dog and it was the saddest thing ever because the dog, and then you skinned it. Well, that's a different story. No, so it's the same story. You didn't story. want to wait. The dog got, it got hit. And then it like limped off and, and then, then it died. You're evil! What about the Sorry, time I drove the horse off the cliff? Okay, let's talk about this. <laughs> oh. He realized then, at that moment, we were probably 30 miles into the desert with no way out. <laughs> and you have to start walking to a path yeah. to steal someone's horse. Um, it's a lot like GTA when you steal a car, the police show up, about three of them on horseback, and you have the option to either surrender, which is by just standing still, so he puts his hands up. And then there's like a cut sequence, sees you in jail, yeah. and then you pay your dues. You're sitting there and it says, one count of manslaughter. You've heard that term before. One time yep. I jumped off my horse while I was going really quick, and then my and horse, the horse ran into the lawman, and then I got in trouble. Cat did, <laughs> did it again. Cat did it. did it again. It's like that time you jumped out of your car and killed that hooker. That's There's some great fun mini games that I got to play. Standoff, so you can challenge someone to a duel. There's the knife game, like in Aliens, where you kind of go ch -ch -ch -ch, and that's actually really challenging to see the character do it and then you match it. B B B A B B B. So you gotta hit it rapidly or else you, you lose or you yeah, stab your finger. He couldn't do it. Then there's poker, Texas Hold'em, and it's exactly what you think it is, Texas Hold'em. After you play the game, you could pull your gun out and shoot the guns out of the other players and take all the money anyways. Yeah. Yeah, your honor goes down. So you can hunt anything that you see and skin it or take its feathers or whatever. Or you can like collect these weeds that are around. And, I like, think it's marijuana. Or whatever. It's probably it's marijuana. marijuana. Other people in the game that are wanted and you can go track them down and you can kill them and you or get like half, alive. yeah, you can get half the amount of money that that's rewarded to you, or take them alive. And that's another cool thing. Like you can choose where to shoot them. You can choose just to shoot them in the leg, yeah. or you can choose to shoot them in the head, or you can choose just to shoot their gun. So in this, there is a variety of weapons that you can collect over time, or that you can use if they're just around. There's revolvers, machine pistols, there's rifles, knives, Molotov cocktails. There's mounted guns. There's shotguns. There's cannons. There's a whole bunch of stuff. So the possibilities <laughs> are endless in this game. It really is a sandbox game. Now on to the multiplayer. So there's max 16 players per session, uh, but some of them like it's just like three on three. There's one mode that's kind of like capture the flag, it's capture the bag, you can kind of rhyme. <laughs> and each of those starts off with a, a Mexican showdown. There's free roaming where it's just free for all, you shoot everyone. I hated that mode, I yeah. loved it. There were cherry pickers that just stood where you spawned yeah. and then they kept shooting you. That's not our favorite mode. No, I like the ones where you can like be in a gang. No, but it, it still was very fun. It's a very huge map and you have things that you need to do like go explode the uh, explosive crates. Some of the weaknesses in this game are it's not very original in gameplay because I just said it's GTA 4. And sometimes it's a bit clunky, like you'll run into a rock that you can easily jump yeah. over and you're like... <sighs> so what do you guys give this out of 10? I give this game a 9. It's very, very entertaining. The gameplay is great. The Deadeye is fantastic. Yep. I love all the missions and I love that you can either go storyline and just go storyline, storyline, storyline. Or right. if you're bored of that, you can just go do crazy things. And Mike, what do you give the game? I give the game actually a 9.5. I think this is a, a contender for game of the year. Uh, Mass Effect 2 maybe, I don't know. <laughs> it's actually a step forward in video gaming and sandbox games. I love it. Yeah, they did a great job I'm gonna that. spend hours playing this, hours. I give it a 9.5. I think it was GTA 4 and all they did was take a different theme, threw it on there, took out the cars, put in a horse. I mean, it's, it's essentially the same exact game. I still give it a 9.5 because that formula works so well in video games. But it's a unique story. The graphics are yeah, updated. They so, so much about it. So you guys gotta check out this game. It's lovely. I wasn't done. Could be game of the year. You have to buy it. Definitely. Michael, I like you a lot. Cat, not so much. Thanks. Mike and I saw a man about oh, yeah. <laughs> 50 miles in up. the air, just staring at us. <laughs> just just staring. like an alien. That's and so it was scary, scary as hell. It scared me. Like, and what was really we scary. We turned off the console after what that. Was, there was a little guy in the air, and, and Mike was like, Aah! 